Welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. My name is Neil Oz, and today we're going to talk about the rockets to space. And we're going to be starting in this episode talking about the first rocket to space because uh, there are many sort of uh, gradual steps in space exploration and we want to talk about the first rocket. So the first rocket consists of two things. It consists of the interior, the exterior, this is the rocket, and the interior, and this is what we're going to be building afterwards. This is the majority part of it, getting a good interior and really rather complex to get the balance of all the cool things so I've, I've uh, come up with a good design, of course, inspired by Francis John, but I've changed it so that they can be two dupes and that just fits better for my needs. This will be the first rocket. So this will be uh, uh, serving the first need. The first thing you really want to go to space for is because science out here, the orange science here is data analysis research. You can get a bit of that from exploring things, but mainly you'll get it from the orbital data collection lab. Orbital Data Collection Lab is a station and it is here, can only be built inside a rocket and only be working outside of, uh, uh, yeah, in orbit when it's out flying. Also know that it does take a bit of plastic, but the rest of the build doesn't take any rare materials. It does take some oxalite, preferably you can make do without it, but I highly recommend getting, getting some oxalite for this kind of build. Uh, now, this is the outside of the rocket. I would recommend that the first rocket is a carbon dioxide because it's super simple to get. It doesn't need any oxidize, oxidizer uh, either. So we just keep a carbon dioxide rocket. You just pump the carbon dioxide in and forget about it. You will have plenty of carbon dioxide. Then we have the crew module, the seafarer module, and then we have two extra spaces and those two extra spaces before the nose cone. That's all we can do. And I just put in a bit of solar panels because then we can get 60 uh, 60 watt from each of those in uh, when it's in orbit however there is a, uh, a a catch here in these are connected to the power line and as well as that we have water going into the seafire module and we have gas coming out as well and this one is just basically filtering that is oxygen go back into the base if it's not oxygen throw it out the way that you can also pump oxygen but i'm not going to do that uh, the way that it works for this for some unknown reason is that the you can't hook up you can't hook up these modules into the seafarer spacefarer module you have to get a battery up here as well so if i put a battery here then obviously it can't launch because well it doesn't have the nose cone but on the other hand uh, we can actually while we're building it and we need that for build we need to make sure that we have power in here for the first parts Let's jump in and take a look at the interior because that's kind of tricky. And uh, this will consist of four different rooms. It'll consist of, consist of a toilet. And the reason why we've split into rooms is because we want to get a bit of morale bonus for this. A, a toilet, a bedroom, a great hall, and then a separate little thing for, uh, for a pump. So that is where we're going to be starting. I will be starting by deconstructing this. And uh, then we start looking at the location and layout of the entire base so the first thing is i'm going to make the toilet over here this needs to be f uh, 12 tiles in total so that is the first thing we want to do and uh, that will be here oops that's definitely not how you rotate in this game this you go rotate oh my god that's and rotate again to that one i will continue with this and I will need to do this one and that one. Those will be going to be the locations for all of this, all of this build in here. And uh, then we'll start looking at each of the rooms in uh, uh, in separation. Why do we have copper ore anywhere? I really don't want copper ore on this. Uh, well, doesn't matter. Now the the thing with this is I am going to design it for two dupes because then there are there's one piloting and one always working on things, and that's actually pretty neat. So what do we want in here? Well, we are going to be starting with the toilet. The toilet is a new kind of toilet, relatively recently added. It's a plastic wall toilet. And it basically means that you, when you come in here, you just sit in the toilet and you just basically open the hatch and uh, yeah, the output just goes on the outside. Uh, the cool thing about this is it only has an input and we can take it from the input up here. It's our water input. We just take it from here and then we just uh, sort of get it around here. Uh, you don't have to you can put it all over the place if you want because it serves two purposes. It absorbs heat. Oh, someone's trapped. I'll just fix that. Right, so this uh, this will serve two purposes. It will uh, absorb heat if I didn't build it out of there. Uh, if I didn't build it out of insulating material, of course. So uh, we will be rebuilding it and then doing like this. 
So it just goes in and absorbs some heat from this surrounding here. It absorbs some heat, but it also stores water because this one takes 2,500 2, kilos. Um, that's really interesting. Uh, 2,500 2, kilos per use. And that means each blob here is containing 10 kilos, each of those blobs in here. So all of this will be, each blob here will consist of four flushes of the toilet. Pretty simple, and that should be more than enough. If you want it more, you can just put it all over the place. I just don't find the need for it. Uh, let's start with the toilet part, because uh, the toilet is that's what we're working on. Uh, we are going to get over here by the medicine. Uh, we'll get a hand sanitizer, because that's kind of necessary. Hand sanitizer is super annoying because as they build in the bleed stone, then it starts evaporating chlorine in here. So don't start putting oxygen in here. You have a nice good vacuum to start with. Keep it like that. And then we'll build the next thing we want. Uh, that's actually the output. This will be the location for oxygen. And this is where I would highly, highly recommend that you uh, get some oxalite for this. Depends on how early you want to go to space, but you can uh, definitely take some of the early ox oxalite and get it in here. And then we're going to set the direction to that one. And then we can see now it's full of a bit of chlorine. It does not off-gas uh, chlorine at this point anymore. But once, as soon as it has all of the bleedstone that it wants in here, then it stops off-gassing. And that's what we want to look for. And uh, then what we have in the corner, uh, we will need to get the gas out. And this serves both in the purpose for our building, the mini gas pump over here. It serves in the purpose to get get this out but also after a trip there will be carbon dioxide down here and you can pump the carbon dioxide out uh, relatively easy uh, it does take a bit of babysitting but you can get that so that will be that part taken care of now for the whole build we need to make sure that we get some power inside and that is a power socket that's still not how to rotate and we've got the power socket here this one has hand sanitizer got what it wants. Now it's not going to be emptying any more in. So we're going to be starting already now just getting rid of the carbon dioxide. Or sorry, getting rid of the chlorine immediately because that's the most annoying thing. So let's get that sorted here. Now some of the main things we want inside this location is of course we want to make sure that we have a telescope so we can explore the world and see the wonders of the world as we like. And we also need to make sure that we have a station and that's going to be a data collection station made out of plastic. Uh, this is the one that actually makes the research. Then we, of course, need to be able to control the ship. And I think this is a great location to have a have the steering going on. We are going to make sure that we have, uh, let's see, mess tables up here. They're going to be happy at that point. They will take a nice bit of dose of res radiation. But if you're not playing on the highest difficulty, it really doesn't matter. Uh, give them some pills if you like, or just ignore it if you don't like. Uh, it is very, very simple. This will be for storing plastic to be used for the data collection and the data banks that created will just be on the ground here. We're going to need a fridge at this point. Uh, whether you hook it up or not is uh, up to you. I'll, if you have something that doesn't spoil, then you don't need to have it uh, in a... Uh, you don't need to have it refrigerated, so just leave it like that. For example, berry sludge, there are nutrient bars. Those are good things. Now, in order for this to become a mess hall, if we look at uh, rooms here, uh, this is not a, this is the washroom because of that one. Um, we can't get up here at this point because, well, how are we going to get up here? That is the next part. This is on the furniture. There is a ladder bed and we can build a ladder bed here and we can build another one here. And then with that, we now have a way up and that's going to be like the main, the main thing. So now we can get up here and we can start building the top part as well. Now at this point, don't build any oxygen in here because we still have the toxic chlorine that we need to get rid of and they can't really get up here so if the top in order for the top us to make the top part into a mess hall then we need to have in the furniture furniture we can get a little arrow pot here and we can also get a party phone over on this side this will of course be disabled but it just needs to be here so now we uh, we just let this one operate because we are now kind of kind of not keeping up on this part oh finally now they can get all the way up so we're going to be letting them build this and we have the pump running as well we should also put hook up all the other things to power and let's do that let's hook that up they are not going to be working i'm not going to hook up the this this yet uh, because i don't want it and uh, this uh, this party line phone will be disabled once it's ready so let's leave it be for a bit now we've built everything in here, just for now at least, and uh, we can see the pump is 
gradually just getting rid of the chlorine. It's going to take a bit of time to get rid of it. But there are a few things. Uh, this arrow pot, you can maybe put the bluff briar because that goes from 10 to 30. If you think that's the temperature range that you're going to be in. Or you can get something that's slightly better. But that's for 20 degrees generally. So that's the option. We have a few things we want to do. We want to make sure we get some plastic in here. So I'm going to set it to 1000 because that is plenty of plastic for us to go in here. And I will need to make sure that it stops with the auto save. The auto save is starting to get a bit uh, lengthy. Plastic. So we get plastic in here. Uh, I'm not putting oxalate in here because if I do that, then it starts uh, off gassing oxygen together while it still has chlorine in the air. So that's not an option at this point. I can go in here and say, how much do I want? I want to get edibles and then we'll get some berry sludge. Sure, that uh, should never spoil. So we can take the berry sludge and put it in here. Uh, just get that sorted in here as well. Uh, aside from this, it's just a matter of letting it empty out all of this. Also super important, make sure that it's grounded. Otherwise, they will come in here to use the toilet, uh, disable the party line phone, because that's not something we want here. And then we just wait for it to uh, empty to generate the vac vacuum again. It'll be taking a cycle or two. And here we are. The vacuum is spreading and we have now have a full vacuum in here. Great, so that is perfect. We are ready to get started on the next part. So the first thing we want to do is obviously we want to make sure that that gets disconnected so we don't pump out all the oxygen once we get that in here. Uh, then we are going to get some consumable ore and we are going to get some oxalite. We're not going to get 20,000, we're just going to get 1,000 kilos. And that should probably be fine. They consume 60 kilos of oxygen every cycle. So that should be a number of cycles. Ah, you know what? We'll pick make 2000 just, just in case. And that will already now start venting off some gas and this is disabled. It's all looking excellent. Now the next part is as this uh, will off gas and be, uh, be filling up this location. You can see the aero part is working. We can see that the rooms here are working. We have a great hall, we have a barracks and we have a washroom. Uh, and as long as we have two dupes in here, then it's not going to be uh, working very well. So what we need to do now is change the crew. So what do we want for crew? Now we can take someone like, for example, St. Cabbage here. Uh, St. Cabbage can do all of it. And that's great. Fire flying and all of that stuff. But I think it's actually better to have someone who can't fly, but can do the research here. We don't need to do that. We have to make sure that we have the material study terminal and astrology. So we take Everlist and then we take someone else who can only fly, but not the other thing. So we'll have, and the reason why is because as, as we have this, we don't have more than, than uh, 120 power coming in. That means we can only barely connect to one of the things. This is disabled. This is disabled. This is not connected. And that means this is, we can either have this running or that running, but not both. And therefore, it's uh, they, we don't want to have someone who can do both of those things. So we should uh, change the crew. This is the part with the small rocket because I can only fit two of these modules up here. And that also means that it's a, probably a good idea to remove this module and get the get it replaced with the uh, the nose cone at this point. And uh, that means get the crew. We will take someone who can pilot the ship, and we will take someone who can actually do the all the techie stuff there. That should be it. They are now the crew of this uh, vessel. And we have this uh, storage bin. Everything is now set. We want to just go out and make sure that we get the nose cone established here. So we have a complete ship. That comes from here. Plus and nose cone. Uh, sure, build it out of. Build out of steel. Psh, we are wasteful, but we will. So once this is done, then all we need to do is set a destination, no active construction. Well, of course we have, and no code is missing as well. So let's uh, set the destination here. The destination, if we look at it, we can get a couple of tiles away. One, two, three tiles away, because if we are at this point, then we can explore a bit further out. So I think we'll just go to this location. That will be the destination. Once we reach that destination, they're just gonna be hanging out, and then this should be fine. If we look at it, everything is good. Uh, pilot boarded, all crew boarded, that's not the case. So we will now go inside and then s switch to crew only and then switch away from grounded. That means now the crew can come in here, they can do what they want and we're ready to launch our first rocket. Once we have the two in inbound, there we go, that's one. Oh, here's another very important thing. They are gonna come in here and then as soon as they get in here, we are going to where are you? Everlist. Unequipped suit. And you? Isolda? 
unequip suit because that will then be our backup emergency thing if we run out of oxygen or we need to crash land on a planet then they will just have a little bit of oxygen in their suit should that happen theoretically of course it won't happen but you know it's uh, kind of okay and now we are ready to launch everything is green here well it's not green but nothing is red and we can start the launch secret sequence once they're in space then we need to make sure that they actually have something meaningful to do well there we go they are coming up here and then they are immediately going into orbit if we then go inside and look at what they're doing so we'll have one person uh, Isolde will be in charge of flying the ship that is not really doing much and then we need to make sure that Everlist has the priorities over here uh, let's figure out where Everlist is Everlist has researching yes that is what we need to make sure that you should be able to do this one now uh, I just need to go in here and say forever and ever and ever. There we go. And um, then if we look at priorities, I want to have this one as highest priority. Because if they can explore, then they should explore. And if they can't explore, then just keep making more of these, these things. Go in, pick it up. Good, good, good. Oh, okay. So they can do that as well. Interesting. So that's uh, now they need to just slowly get their way over to this location. And once they get over here, they should be starting to explore or to do some tele telescoping instead. If we look at the power line in here, we can see that there is a here. Um, potential load can be up to 360, but the current load is, of course, only 60 here because we don't have anything else working. But we will get the telescope working at some point. Oh, there you go. And using the toilet. Let's give them some privacy and look at the pilot instead. Um, and then we just wait for them to get to that position. And until then, they live happily in here. Just having a good old time. Here we go. They have now started to get to a position where they can start doing exploration. Let's look at the star map. From here, they can go one, two, three. Out here, this is the one that's being explored right now. And as we go out to this, we can explore a good chunk out here. And that's basically what you want to do for, for this. There we go. We explored some empty space. And we even get out here to see some more. But this will only be able to fly out two tiles. or Orbit plus two tiles. Three tiles out. And then explore a location. Do that in multiple different directions. Then you can explore quite a bit with just this little starter rocket. Uh, as we go in here. Uh, we can see that's working and they're just living happily uh, ever after here. If we look at what we have in this location, then we can just go data banks uh, because that's something we'd like to see. They've produced eight units by now and uh, they'll just continue to produce this for as long as it's possible. Now, you can see this is the issue that they can only do one or the other. If they start working on both of those, then then it's not going to work. Uh, we actually really wanted you to not do anything with this and you keep you to just doing this. I was actually surprised. I thought that you'd need it. Data Collection App, I didn't think that anyone could use that. Uh, what I can do then is I can go to Solda and then say, you are allowed to do rocketry. Absolutely, you want to do rocketry. Uh, but you are not allowed to do operating. I think that's operating, right? Doesn't it say on a machine what it is? We'll, uh, we'll try to disable you from operating because every time this turns on, the other one switches off. And we only want one of those uh, active. That was the whole point. Uh, so we get you to be not operating at all. There we go. So they will do one or the other, but never both. There we go. This works perfectly. Now uh, Isolde won't be doing anything here. It'll be Everless doing one or the other. And this is, of course, a limitation with this... Uh, with this rocket because I only have opportunity to make 60 here. Uh, getting something in here in terms of just uh, a spinning wheel or batteries or something like that, I just don't see that's, uh, that's a feasible option. Uh, it's it's crammed out enough as it is. So we'll have someone being in charge of, rock, of flying and someone being in charge of looking out here into the stars. Super amazing. We have now discovered another little planet that is excellent and we can continue it's interesting not really scanning anymore here, but there'll be another little scan coming in very soon. So that is going to be the first of our our rockets. If there's interest, I can do I can also do a tutorial on a more general purpose rocket that we can then fit more modules in, and that those more modules will be just for uh, drilling, exploration, colonization, that kind of thing. So if there's an interest, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, take care, and as always, stay effective.